Digital Building is installing the first head walls for a healthcare project here, Charlotte, North Carolina. We basically framed around the engine itself with our material, our studs, um, to our standards, our, our tolerances. From there, send it over to drywall sheathing, and the CNC router cuts it all out um, perfectly. Then we put a level four finish on top of it after setting it up vertically on our stands in-house. From there, carefully bunk it, shrink wrap it, and ship it out. Some of the safety concerns that we ran into are these panels are literally 1,500 pounds plus, and we have to flip and set these panels up vertically before we put double layer drywall on both sides. So that was definitely something that we've never done before, a little unusual, uh, but it all worked out really well in the end. Now this job in particular was pretty tricky, but fortunately it went without a hitch, um, and everybody and their diligent effort were able to complete this job um, adequately. For this project, we have to be two trucks with 40 head walls which were installed uh, in three days timeline. It took two head walls per hour. The bungs are where got into the building and we used a beam rigging uh, method to bring our panels in place and we installed with the conch set uh, after the beam and the metal deck. These head walls are appro approximately 13 feet 6 inches by 10 feet wide um, and these are 1500 pounds each head walls. So uh, we had the rigging equipment uh, or the methodology to install the head walls in place, which is pretty challenging and exciting that we uh, had the faster install of the head walls. This project has been uh, super exciting and a pretty big learning curve for me to be in the beginning and uh, during the production, during the install, uh, learning a lot from the install and then taking it to the next project or next product.